continue watching. Uh, actually, we're switch over to Zam because. Oh no, I'm still I, here. I'm just making oh. sure. No, no. Okay. Cool. And actually, we see a double kill. Uh, the score does not change. Seven to five. And uh, this thing will uh, remain to be kind of serious here as we get close to that one minute warning. And indeed, we are RC13 taking a very nice solid stack here. And actually, you know, looking at the way that RC13 was playing during the beginning of this match, we can attribute, you know, no other fault here but Zam's here. It seems that once he lost control of, uh, of map control essentially he really just Oop. lost his entire groove and now he's kind of wandering right now looking for items but finding a bouquet of rockets instead gets a nice hit in but now he's backing out of here taking a lot of lg from rc13 he's sticking it out for the fight looking for the one more rail there it is he's down by a single frag with 40 seconds left to go and now looking for mega it's not going to be there for a while he still doesn't have timing walking into this fight that could be absolutely disastrous for him right now he needs to kind of pad this out. He has a little bit of time. He's down mm, by I one for it. Well, uh, uh, yeah. Zam yeah. went through the teleporter in order to get red, but honestly, he could have had the the uh, game tying frag by waiting for a long range real gun shot at Mega. He's able to get it though. He that gets the old fashioned way. He just RC steals 13. Mega and grabs the frag to tie it up with about seven seconds left to go. And look at this horrible spawn by RC13. The only thing that's saving him is the fact that he has a lightning gun. And uh, this is it. We are now at a tie game. So nice way to start King of the Hill after several weeks of not having it at all because we've had so many other things to cover. But um, I'm, I'm liking the start of this here. These guys were right. This is a pretty good game between them. Very, nice very. By Zam, that's a pair. That. Ooh. And RC-13, nowhere to go. The ambush shot. But there's Mega Health for him. Yeah, let's go take a look. Zam... Stacking up nicely, and if you can go get over to the red, you'll basically have control for the next minute because RC13 will only have about 50 armor to his name, maybe 75. Uh, this is a mistake to be in this room. That's why. Boom, boom. You've lost your armor. Now you're real gun range. Switching up, and oh, now you're wow. dead. Yeah. Uh, much better play. Out of that. Much better play would have been to um, try to cross the map, get to that plasma yellow armor, and then cut back for what Zam's about to pick up here. Because uh, that's two frags up, one minute left to go. RC13 really on the back foot, and Zam at this point is controlling where RC13 goes. And RC13 is basically just in uh, kind of panic mode. Um, oh, nice. He even comes back into the shop for that rocket. Ouch. Let's go see, he's got 22 health. Yeah, not, not a pretty place to be with only 40 seconds left to go. Absolutely. So Zam getting a beautiful just run of frags there. RC13 is not letting up the aggression. It looks like he's just trying to see if he can get one more lucky shot and start some momentum of his own. But right now, it's not looking lucky. And every time that RC13 tries to get lucky, Zam just turns it right back around him. But again, just the, the setups for these fights, Zam is just in the dominant position every single time. Beautiful rail shot there, just keeping RC13 out of control for red. And even after he grabbed it, again, didn't we? Uh, see some issues with maybe RC13 not getting some of these sound cues and I think yes. that we saw another example of that right there so with 13 to 7 first bit of overtime which is so sweet to see on the first round of King of the Hill tonight but <laughs> very solid win for Zam in that final two minutes and we're gonna see who's coming up next yeah it's the uh, Zam is basically has adrenaline pumping through his body right now and that's why he's shaking so all right Oh, hello. Okay, this this is interesting. We we have maybe a little bit of a uh, we have a little bit of a <laughs> rivalry here. Yeah, Zam apparently was just raging like crazy before. So we're gonna go ahead and get Jester in. That that sounds like uh, sounds like it could be interesting. So we're gonna see if we can get uh, instant F3s out of these guys. Oh yes, we can. And Jahar, why don't you kick nice. us off? 
Sure thing, hope I'm not lagging too much here, but we got the countdown, and I'm going to be following Zam here, who took a lead here. Oh, oh wow, I'm loving the new spawn system, and yeah, uh, Zam is going to get a free LG beat him out to it, <laughs> got the frag, and the mega, and red armor. So now, immediately, and right off the, the bat here, Jester is going to be having to be on a very, very defensive position here. And... Uh, we also got a little bit of a fuck you from Jester. Um, yeah, so apparently Zam, er, they, these guys played earlier, and Zam lost, and he was really pissed off about it. But so far, he's managed to get three frags, and I think we might see an enormous amount of rage. Oh, that's a mistake going back for that Mega. Oh. Mm, fresh spawn wins with the LG. And uh, I've, I'm having fun with whatever that voice is. I don't know, it just keeps coming out. But it's now a two-frag game, Jester. <sighs> Like, you know, honestly, the closet, but we, we, need, we need to start, we need to do our best Top Gun impression. Jester? Uh, I, I'm not Tom Cruise. No? Well, you could be, um... I could be Goose. Yeah, you could be Goose. I'll be... Woo! I'll be, I'll be mad. I die 40 minutes in! Woohoo! <laughs> Dude, I, 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 I was sad. I was sad when, uh, what's his name? You were sad than Tom me. Cruise. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, Tom Cruise. You hadn't quite learned your... Ah, uh, therapy sex. ...acting thing yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, back to the game. Right, but Jester, even though he's had a shit-tastic start, he's brought this within one. Red Armor's getting a little dusty, Zan's finally getting a beeline on it. Jester, hanging out back, got a rail in, and now he's going in for... This is kind of confusing, but Zam, I think he was the one who got really confused, because that was a frag that really should have gone over to Zam. But Jester picked it up, and the Mega here, heading back over to Yellow. Now, this is kind of an interesting situation, because he's going to be denying his opponent from this, but I think Zam is at least going to be able to to go grab a rocket launcher. He might have been able to go and grab himself a railgun. Indeed, he has right off the spawn. But he still shows up late to red armor. Well, so, in addition to showing it. up late to red armor, he put himself into the worst position possible. He thought he could get up to it, so he actually entered the room. Like, he pushed into the room, which is really bad. Usually, you just want to be peeking to see if it's there. A lot of times, you'll see players... Uh, when they have a fresh spawn and they, they want to go get a, a strong weapon like the railgun, they will then um, just kind of check to see if it's there without just barging into the room. And uh, Zam basically paid huge for it. Now, the fact is, Jester, though, has lost timing on a couple items here. So, uh, Zam... Oh, actually getting shot a little bit here, but he does finally have yellow armor. Nice little splash damage by Jester. Sam still having a railgun to his name. Doesn't have an LG though, so this fight goes close. Sam will only have rockets. Oh, and he walks straight into that rocket as he hits the railgun shot. This is an easy kill right here. Oh, what? Okay, should be an easy kill. I expected uh, Jester to be able to, to at least click a rail it into Sam's ass as he went off that jump pad. Knocking him down to about 20 health, but looks like Sam's able to get right off of it. Walks into another <laughs> rocket again. Whoops. He's got to work on that. I Again, a lot eating. of these movements from Zam are just generating a lot of things, uh, a lot of damage actually on his end that really doesn't need to be there. Um, he's moving in kind of these random places, but strangely enough, even stranger in my mind, Jester's there ready for the ambush every time. Apparently people want Artanis to shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, poor Tannis. All right. So actually, we finally will see the, the tie break here. It looks like Jester's going to come out ahead. And that's going to probably piss off Zam immensely. Oh, this is... Oh, my God. This is so oh, risky to do man. this. He could get away, though. What the hell? Oh, he hears the armor shards behind him. Oh, nice prediction. Back into it. Yeah, nice, nice prediction by Zam. That, that was a good idea. He heard the armor shots and anticipated Jester trying to switch back to uh, to cut him off, and he just fired off a rocket at the lightning gun, and hey, it worked out pretty well. So nice work so far by Zam to, to keep his thing back into a tie. So far, Zam's been able to uh, go toe to toe with his challengers. Let's see if he can continue to come out just a hair ahead. Hmm. 
Well, now he's got mega health, and Jester, to be honest, he did two things there. He stuck around there a little bit too long, was a little bit late on the run away uh, gene, and also got a little caught up on the geometry, which meant, yeah, Zam definitely got a solid frag there. But now, uh, finally using his ears a little bit now, Jester heads up jump pad, but almost gets shafted in the process.